Hey guys, I'm Dave Klein, and today I think it's time to talk about the Four Kings, their origins, their downfall, and some interesting connections pointed out by Reddit user MS Painting. So, let's begin. Long ago, before New Londo was the ruin it is now, a rich and diverse culture existed. As New Londo would seem to be an extension of Honor Londo, Gwyn chose four kings to rule over the city. The four kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul. He entrusted them with a part of his lord's soul, giving them the power to rule over the city. We know from the bequeathed lord's soul shard, Lord Gwyn recognized the foresight of these four great leaders of New Londo and granted them their ranks and fragments of his lord's soul. It's possible Gwyn entrusted the four kings to rule, so he could act as a sort of puppet master and pull the strings from Honor Londo. And why four kings? We know New Londo was supposed to have a very diverse culture, so perhaps this was in order to represent the multiple cultures of the city. I'd love to hear your thoughts and speculations in the comments below. It's unclear how long the four kings ruled for. However, we know that they were eventually approached by the primordial serpent Koth. Long ago, the four kings were powerful men. Only their hearts were weak. When an evil serpent dangled the art of life drain before them, they were unable to resist and became pawns of evil. Ah, if you wish, I shall grant the art of life drain, the legendary power of the Dark Lord. It can preserve your humanity while undead and cast off the shackles placed upon your brethren. We have to assume at this point that the Four Kings were either undead or became undead in order for this to be a tempting offer. The Four Kings readily take the offer, and in doing so, begin the spread of the Abyss in New Londo. Their knights too were affected, as according to the Dark Sword of the Dark Wraiths, when the Four Kings were seduced by evil, their knights became Dark Wraiths, servants of the Dark who wielded these Dark Swords. Similar to the Four Kings, the Dark Wraiths also gained the Dark Hand, and the ability of Life Drain. Just like the Four Kings, they too can travel through New Londo and rob the humanity out of people. We know from the Dark Hand that the Dark Wraiths incited by Koth use the power of the Dark Soul to absorb humanity and art shared by this weapon, which also acts as a special shield. The Ancients, particularly, could sap the humanity of even a replete saint in the blink of an eye. Similar to the gaping dragon's insatiable hunger, it would seem the four kings have grown an insatiable desire for humanity. Looking at the chest of a hollow undead, you'll notice a scar over the heart. The four kings have this very same scar, but one that has grown completely out of control, most likely due to their vast consumption of humanity. And, while an undead typically loses the scar after returning to human form, the four kings have a hole in their chest, possibly because they can never be fully satisfied. So terrifying is this art, the sorcerers of New Londo get together and make the hard decision to wipe out the entire town in order to prevent the spread of the Four Kings, the Dark Wraiths, and the Abyss. We know from the Key to the Seal, the Sealers flooded New Londo to banish the Dark Wraiths and the Four Kings. The agonizing decision was made with the realization that countless lives and the robust culture of the city would be lost. The victims now roam the runes as ghosts. But the sorcerers aren't the only ones we see afraid of this art. Another being lies locked away in the painted world, a place reserved for those things the gods fear most. There once was an abomination who had no place in this world. Priscilla. Priscilla, who was presumably locked away for this exact ability, the ability to steal and drain humanity. According to her life hunt scythe, even the gods feared Priscilla's life hunt ability, and in the hands of a mortal, its power will turn upon its wielder. And yet, there's more that oddly connects the Four Kings to Priscilla and the painted world. Outside of the tower the Four Kings reside in, there are three statues. These statues are the exact same as the main statue we find in the painted world of Ariamis. 
the statue that presumably indicates Velka. And yet, more can be found in what would appear to be the Cowl of the Dark Wraiths. Looking closely at the Cowl in-game, and then further inspection in the concept art, you'll realize that the Dark Wraiths actually have feathers all about them, both in armor and their cowl, and what would look suspiciously like crow feathers. So, what does this all mean? Well, this is purely my speculation, but perhaps the Four Kings have been approached by either Velka or followers of Velka and found out about Priscilla and Life Drain in this way. We find evidence of the followers of Velka scattered throughout New Londo in the form of the Rare Ring of Sacrifice and the Curse Bite Ring. It's purely speculation, but perhaps the Four Kings found out about the Life Drain ability through this and worshipped both Velka and Priscilla. Koth then used this to find an opening and a way to tempt the Four Kings. An interesting point MS Painting brought up was that the child in the statue could have represented child Beatrice, who was cut from the game. Beatrice can be used to face the Four Kings, so perhaps there was initially a purpose that was cut out. At the end of the day, I'm really not sure, and I would love to hear your thoughts and speculations in the comments below. Alright guys, that wraps up this Dark Souls lore video. As I mentioned, I'd love to hear your theories about the connection between the Four Kings, Velka, and Priscilla in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.